everyone how's it going yikes here and we are back in our video today i'm going to be going over some of the research that the community has done about league of legends wild rift so some of this stuff we already know and some we don't know so i'm going to be going over that so thank you to address and thank you to navalha for actually sharing this document with me so as you guys can see the ui is going to be pretty simple for league of legends wild rift the play button is right there and basically you're going to have a new main menu with theme music and you're going to be able to change the champion on the main menu. As you guys can see right here, we have Yaren. So if you guys want to change it to anyone else, you can do that. You are going to have an option to change the 3D model from what it says right here. So maybe you can change it or maybe like Arena of Valor where the game developers actually change it for you. So basically in Arena of Valor, every time there's a brand new hero coming, the developers change it to that hero so people can see that the hero is coming out or it's out already. So you guys can go ahead and purchase it. So I'm not sure what this here means, but again, there's going to be a new way to actually show uh, the 3D model. As you guys can see right there, you can see Ash as well, which is right here. So as you guys can see, we already knew that we are going to have 41 champions. And as you guys can see, there's a list right here. Ari, Alistar, Annie, Ash, Blitzcrank, Barum, Camille, Cassopia, Diana, Darius, Draven, Dr. Mundo, Israel, Fiora, Fizz, Garen, Gragas, Jana, Jax, Jean, Jinx, Lux, Malphite, Master Yi, Misfortune, Nami, Nasus, Olive, Oriana, Shivana, Soraka, Timu, Trendemir, Twisted Fate, Riven, Varys, Bane, V, Jin Zhao, Yao Suo, Zed, and Zix. And now we're going to be talking about the play button. Once you guys press on this play button, you're going to have options to basically choose what mode you're going to play. So they have Blind Peak, Draft Mode, rank duo and flex mode and you also have the tutorial side of the stuff and you have practice tool and also there's going to be an aram which is going to be in development as you guys know all of the mobile mobas have aram and this is going to be possibly coming up once the game is actually launched but again the rank modes are going to be different we're going to have flex queue rank duo draft mode and blind pick which is really good so the same system is going to be transferring over from League of Legends PC to mobile, which everybody wanted. So it's really amazing if it actually comes out when the game actually launches as well. And as you guys can see, they're improving the queue time, the positions and the accuracy. And it's gonna be uh, a lot better than what we already have on a League PC and other mobile mobiles. And as you guys can see right here, uh, this is the menu selection. This is like the draft mode in the rank. As you guys can see right here, you can see the minimap. It's going to show you guys where the lane is going to end up being. So the purple lane, which is the Baron lane, and the blue one is going to be the Dragon lane. So as you guys can see right there, you can choose and select it. So there's going to be two D animated style splash arts where you can choose and set up where you guys want to go. Then we're going to moving on to the rooms. As you guys can see, 29 rooms are going to be in Wild Drift, which is going to be more simplified and less complex than a PC version. And for each champion, you can set a build or you're going to have a default build. So just like Arena of Valor, you're going to be able to basically change your runes or enchantments to what you guys like and um, what you guys want to have. And now we're going to be talking about the summoner spells. There's going to be eight summoner spells. They're going to be Flash, Ignite, Chilling Smite, Challenging Smite, Heal, Ghost, Barrier, and Exhaust. And the cooldowns are going to be reduced. They're not going to be the same as the PC version. They are 50% reduced in Wild Rift. And as you guys can see, they're right here. Teleportation, there is no longer available. And it's an active item now. So one of the items that you buy, you can activate to have that teleportation. So it depends if you guys want to put that in your build or not. And now again, it shows the details on the main menu. Once you guys are trying to get into a match, it shows what talents, runes, and basically... Uh, what your enemies have chosen how like how master or how good they are at their characters you guys can see at the top left of the icons you can see how good the enemies are are with that hero so that's a really good information that you can see uh, once you guys are loading into the game so the minimap is going to be located at the top left the recommended items are going to be under it so basically if you set up a build uh, it's going to come down next to the shop icon and you can just purchase what you guys set up as your build. They're going to keep coming up. The chat is going to be right under it, just like Arena of Valor. The kill, death, and assist ratio is going to be on the right. And the pings are going to be at the right as well, as you guys can see right here. And again, this is going to be a double control scheme, which is going to be really satisfying. There's going to be four skill shots and there's going to be tower and minion button if you guys are using the advanced targeting system. 
And now we're going to be talking about the barrier. As you guys know, once you guys spawn, there's going to be a barrier around you. It's just going to refuse to let you guys go for three seconds before the match. So if you just forget buying, you can't buy because in this game, you can only buy in the base. You cannot walk out of base. So uh, as an Arena of Valor player, I know that every time uh, I'm in the base and there's a barrier, I don't really care. I just walk out of it. Uh, because I can't buy anywhere on the map, but on this game the barrier is gonna remind you guys that you have to buy in the shop And there's gonna be a shop icon as you guys can see right there above your name If you guys are close to the shop where you are gonna be able to uh, buy that And then the max level is 15. We already knew this um, We saw that in the trailer. There's gonna be new models for 3d and 2d models for every character in the game There's a fog of war and warding system and there's going to be same elemental dragons. I already made a whole video on this. So if you guys want to go ahead and click on the top right and go watch that video, you can go. Smite is now two summoner spells. So you can either choose the chilling or challenging. You do not need the jungle items to gain the smite. So it's going to be kind of like mobile legends, which I don't really like. But again, on here, it says that you guys are going to be able to uh, take those talents without uh, basically having the jungle item, which is going to be able to... Uh, enable you guys to take uh, objectives really faster you're going to be able to have like multiple punishes in your team so if one of you guys uh, uh, basically misses their smite uh, I call smite punish because in like the game that I'm playing right now it's called punish so yeah if you guys miss your smite on an object uh, then basically your teammate is going to be able to cover with their own smite and get that objective so ignite is going to have some changes there's going to be a new extra bar below the health of the enemies or basically yourself so you can see the passive so this is basically like a passive counter so enemies like twist i mean heroes like twisted fair or champions like twisted fate as you guys can see is going to have that where you're going to be able to see that and also there's a lot of changes coming to the champions uh as you guys can see there's a lot of details about this i'm going to leave that all in the comment down below and in the description so if you guys want to go ahead and get into details yourself you can do that but yeah this is right here as you guys can see there's a lot of changes coming and then we're going to be talking about the map being mirrored. So the map is actually mirrored. If you guys didn't know, I already made a whole video again on this. I'm going to have the link in the description or the top right corner of the screen. So go ahead and click on that. But yeah, the maps are going to be reversed due to the controls being uh, the same every time you play the game. So the abilities are not going to be on the left. They're going to be always on the right. So to make this not confusing and you guys not like misclicking on your stuff, the maps are mirrored. So you're always going to play from left to right. But because of that, the map is going to be reversed. So if bot lane is dragon for the enemies, their top lane is going to be dragon. So it's going to be a little bit weird. But if you guys watch the video that I made, uh, you guys are going to be able to understand what I mean. And right here, as you guys can see, uh, when you guys get into the game at the bottom of the map, it tells you what lane is which lane. So you can get that easier. Also in the pre-selection and screen when you guys are trying to basically um, choose the roles, you can see that as well. And then so it's talking uh, the, the bushes are some of the bushes are actually uh, removed near the entrance to the dragon river. The dragons spawn at four minutes. The reef herald spawns at four minutes as well. Minions spawn 12 seconds after the match begins. The dragon nasher spawns at 10 minutes. This means that reef herald can be only taken one time by either teams. Muster camps spawn 32 seconds after the match has begun. And blue and red buffs have new icons as you guys can see right here. Slaying Baron or getting the Herald Eye empowers the recall, which now takes four seconds to get back to the base. So you're going to be able to have a uh, empowered recall where you're going to be to go back. So right here, as you guys can see, the recall is, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to take six seconds, but now you're going to be able to go back for four seconds. And as you guys can see, uh, there's going to be changes to Drake. So as you guys can see, the uh, Dragon Slayer is removed instead of, instead of collecting four Drake souls to gain the enhanced buff now every drake soul grants the final enhanced buff so for example if you guys slay the mountain drake now it grants the enhanced buff which grants five percent ad and ap shield if not in combat instead of magic percentage magic resistance and percentage armor so there's going to be a lot of new changes coming out so i think it's better to not go over these in detail when we don't have any information or when i haven't played the game myself so i'm not going to really go into details about this but as you guys can see, they removed the wall near the Krog's camp. 
Aunt Mary that attached to the bush, as you guys can see in that photo. They removed the wall that faces the wolf scams as well. And already went over the blast cones, the warding system and stuff. So I'm not going to really go over this. I'm going to have that video linked as well. So make sure to check the cards in the top right corner if you guys want to go into more details about that. But as you guys can see right there, and that's a ward where you're going to be able to activate them. So the warding system is actually different. Um, as you guys can see, the ward activation recharges every 120 seconds to gain ward activation. And then ward plants have an expiration time after getting activated. The ward plants mechanism. If the ward plant gets activated by the enemy champion, you can use some ward observer item to detect them. But you can still activate them over it. So you can just go back. Uh, if the enemy has it, you can use the item. And then after you use the item, you get vision on the ward. And then you're going to be able to activate it. So this is going to be pretty interesting. And then the items are going to be a little bit different. The boots are going to have active, they're going to be like active items. So as you guys can see right here, uh, the boots right here in this photo, I already made a video on this as well. So go ahead and check that out. And there's going to be a lot of item changes. There's going to be reworks and we're not going to go into details again. The alpha is going to be coming out in about two weeks. So we're not going to really go into details right now based on this because this is just a research a document and I'm not going to really get everybody confused. But now let's get more into details about last hitting and farming into the game as you guys can see they said that the farming is going to be really really important or last hitting is going to be really important in the mobile version just like the pc version a lot of people uh, were confused when they said even if you don't last hit, you're going to get gold so right here we're going to go into more details about that so i already made a video about this uh, when you guys last hit a minion and once they're low enough for you guys to last hit them uh, basically their head ball becomes uh lighter so you can see when their health bars are white and you can you're gonna be able to kill them every one second champions get four gold automatically every five seconds champions get some extra xp minions gold get increased the more the delay they're into the game that you get also champions get one fourth of the minion gold if they miss the last hit so this is really important and again, the duration of the recall was changed from 8 seconds to 6 seconds. Empowered recall is 4 seconds. Skill shots uh, have been improved. So if you guys are lagging or spiking, you're going to be able to aim them and they're going to go uh, where you guys want them to go even if you're lagging. The auto attack buttons are going to be different for every champion. So as you guys can see, this is for like warrior. This is for marksman. And this is for mages. And also the icons changes based on where you are. So if you are in the lane, it's going to be tower and minion buttons. If you're in the jungle, you're going to have like the dragon. You're going to have the seeds and stuff like that. So it's going to be uh, different. And also there is going to be a spectating system, just like Mobile Legends. You're going to be able to open up the uh, player's profile and you're going to be able to go ahead. And if they are streaming, you can watch them, which is going to be really nice. And there is like a Baron buff icon as well. There's new shopping icons. And there is like settings in the game that you guys are going to be able to change such as nearest target, low HP target, smart enemy targeting, camera height, we're going to have low, mid and high settings. We're going to have avatar unlock on enemy, joystick move to aim. So there's going to be everything from like different mobiles that we already have coming to this, which is going to be pretty amazing the setting. And there's also high frame rate and I think it caps at 60 just like every other mobile game. Uh, no mobile I think goes past 60. Uh, so some of the devices are not going to have that option. They're going to be locked at 30 because the devices are old. And also, as you guys can see, there is a photo of the practice tool, as you guys can see right here. Uh, just same thing as Arena of Valor and Mobile Legends. You're going to be able to get gold, put dummy targets and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of went really fast over this video because everyone else is uh, making about 30, 40 minutes videos on this. But I just wanted to just shrink it down and tell you guys everything that's going to be coming out in a little bit of a fast pace so you guys can see what the game is going to be. But if you guys play Arena of Valor, you're going to be fine. It's going to be kind of like a similar game, so don't worry about that. But again, if you guys want to go ahead and learn about this stuff on yourself, I'm going to have this link in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out yourself. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys the next time when we get more information about Wild Rift. Peace out.